The Lord be with you. I'm reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came from Galilee to John of the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, as we hear today the gospel, at that moment was a big surprise for John the Baptist to see our Lord Jesus Christ coming to him from over and ask him to be baptized. And John the Baptist, he knew that. Jesus Christ is God. So he said, why? What, what kind of thing is this one? You are asking to be baptized, you are not sinner. Actually, you don't need to be baptized. The one of the people who is baptized, we are all of us, not you. And he said, I need to be baptized for you. And yet you are coming to me. You can realize through this action, the intention of God is very clear to save us, to repair our sins. And the way to repair our sins is through this action, humility. God, powerful, He Himself, and us, and confused, and has not fear to mix up with sinners because of our love. That is why our Lord does not care to be mixed up with anyone, with sinners, in order to bring them close to Him. In fact, all His enemies used to call Him the friend of sinners. Moreover, throughout all His life, our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us humility as the way to conquer our hearts. This is the only way, my dear brothers and sisters, to somehow to repair for our sin, but especially the first sin, the first sin committed by human beings. Our parents, our first parents, Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God. And they don't, don't want to follow, didn't want to follow the rules. And they disobeyed. In other words, they were not humble. Lack of humility. It was the sin, the original sin. Our Lord Jesus Christ, all his life, he said, I am the master, the teacher. And I wash your feet. If therefore, not therefore, the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. Because I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. 
this is the only way for us, my dear brothers and sisters, to open the gates of heaven, to be humble. And there are some signs for, as a Christian, for us to recognize if we really, we are humble and we are in the right path to go to heaven. Some signs, I will just name some signs. For example, acceptance of our condition of creatures. Every time we do prefer sin, we behave as a God. It's like a, we are at that moment saying that, yes, I, I know you rule my life, you want me to follow the commandments, but I don't care. I prefer this scene, I prefer this moment. I like this situation. This is my, my option, my choice, eh? my life. Since that moment, we behave as a God. And we again renew it somehow the same sin of the father of sinners, the father of every sin is the devil, the first creature who reject God openly. I will not serve you, said the devil. No? Second sign, another sign of humility is acceptance of our own limitations, our mistakes. Just a, a soul is very humble, is able to say, oh sorry, no, I, I do a mistake, no, sorry, it's, it's, it's my fault. Only a humble soul can accept that we need, or he needs, needs from God, and we go to, for confession. And we ask God the strength, help, divine pain, divine mercy to go ahead. Only a humble soul has the capacity to accept vices, defects, any problem, and asking for help. Another sign of humility is capacity to forgive offenses. There are many people, they don't want to forgive. They close already their hearts and they say, no, I will not forgive you any, never, never. And Jesus Christ, from the cross, he is teaching us. He was able to forgive everyone. And he is asking us to open our hearts and to forgive. Forgive those people who hurt me, no matter what, no matter what kind of thing. I need to open my heart because God is asking me to open my heart again and believe in the love, in the power of love, and the power of forgiveness. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the person doesn't want to forgive, not only close her heart or his heart. Also, will uh, close his heart to the action of, love, uh, of God, to the God's love, to the Holy Spirit. We have not, not two hearts, unfortunately, you know? We have not two hearts. One heart to love, another heart to hate. Just one heart. And this is the problem. We cannot with one part of my heart hate and another part of my heart to love. It's impossible, it's a contradiction. And that kind of people will always feel frustration, desperation, until we we'll accept forgive, forgiveness for his life and give forgiveness. Capacity of service others but especially to recognize everything in our life is a gift from God and to be thankful. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this month we are going to ask the grace to imitate Jesus Christ in this humble attitude during all our lives, along our lives. 
we ask this way to Mary, the handmaid of God. For the church, that she may be renewed by the grace of God and become an instrument of the mercy of God, being merciful as the Father is merciful. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the baptized that they may take their Christian commitment seriously, live a life according to their faith, and bring witness of the gospel into the world. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the catechumens, that their faith may grow as they await the Spirit's gifts, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our newborn babies and all who will soon be baptized, as their parents will teach them with words and examples how to be good Christians, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all our intentions as well as just others in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Father, in this Eucharistic sacrifice, and for God's 
Please be quiet. 